Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at monitoring your APIs. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on what monitoring is, I'll just show you what it looks like using Postman. When some people say they're testing APIs using Postman, well that can mean a lot of things. Some people are sending and receiving requests to make sure they're sending the right thing or receiving the right thing. Some people are writing Postman tests under the test tab, making assertions that the response they get back has the right status code, the right response body, is the right data type, that kind of thing. Some people are grouping these requests together in collections, writing tests, and then using the script section to guide the next request that's called based on the response they received from another request. If you're not familiar with how to do all of that so far, check out one of our other videos. For this example, we're going to assume that we already have a collection with tests. In Postman, there's three ways to run a collection. You can run it locally in the Postman app with the Collection Runner. This will call all of your API requests in the collection, passing along data if you set it up that way, running any tests that you've written, and show you if the tests have passed or failed. You can also run the collection locally with Newman, our open source command line tool. From the command line, you can run it locally with Newman. Same deal, you can see if your tests have passed or failed. This is how a lot of teams will run Postman tests as part of their continuous integration or continuous deployment or CICD process. The last way you can run a collection is with a Postman monitor. Whereas the collection runner and Newman run the collection locally, a Postman monitor runs your collection on the Postman cloud. Let's set up a monitor. I'm going to be using the Postman standalone app for Mac OS X. I'm on version 6. Make sure you have a Postman account and you're logged in. I have a collection already set up. I have all my requests and I've written some meaningful tests. Near the collection name, click the chevron to expand the details and select the monitors tab. Go ahead and add a monitor. Let's give it a name. Select an environment if you're using one. And let's go ahead and schedule it. A Postman monitor is really just a scheduled run of your collection. You can do this at whatever interval you'd like, as often as every five minutes. Select which regions we want our collection to run in. For enterprise users, there is an additional option to run the monitor from a static IP. Be aware that if you select multiple regions, you will have multiple side effects, meaning the collection will run in every region that you're selecting. Sometimes people ask if the monitor can run in their virtual private cloud. A Postman monitor can only access publicly available endpoints. As of right now, Postman monitors can't run in your VPC or behind your firewall. If you need to run the collection locally, you should use the Newman command line tool that we talked about earlier. And then there's additional preferences that you can customize. For example, if the monitor fails, meaning the collection runs and a test fails, you can choose to receive email notifications. I'll show you some other integrations in a little bit. Go ahead and click monitor this collection. Let's move over to the Postman dashboard. You'll notice that we're in the web browser now. I have a collection set up with a monitor that was previously running, currently paused. I was previously running this monitor every day at around 10 o'clock. Green means the test passed, and red means there was a test failure. I can see the response time for every collection run over time, and if I want to drill down into any particular run, I can hover over it. Once I select a specific collection run, at the bottom of the page I see a view that's very similar to the collection runner in the Postman app. I can see the requests that ran, responses, and tests. If I had any failing tests, I could filter by um, failures and dig deeper. If I had any log statements, I could check my logs on the console log tab. It's very helpful for debugging. All right, we're still in the Postman dashboard. If we scooch over to the integrations page of a particular workspace, Postman Pro and enterprise users can hook up their Postman monitors to some of their favorite monitoring tools. For example, if I already use PagerDuty to handle the acknowledgments and resolutions, now I can trigger that process when a Postman monitor returns a failing test. If you're not a pro or enterprise user on a team plan, you can still use the Postman API to build your own integrations. With the Postman API, you have access to all of your Postman data, like collections, environments, mocks, and monitors. And that's it. We walk through how to set up a monitor to run a collection on the Postman cloud, view the results of a collection run, and we saw that there's integrations available for Postman Pro and enterprise users to sync monitors with their favorite tools. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of our others.